Hey guys, hopefully everyone's doing well. Got a quick mail day here. Um, first, from group break with G Man TD2, Tim. I picked up this uh, or got this Willie Brown from Gridiron Gear. Pretty nice card. Uh, that rubber helmet auto. And it is numbered out of 350. So, pretty cool looking card here. I've only had one of those before, and that was out of 08 in the um, Steve Slayton. Um, next, <laughs> just PM and East Coast chat about this guy last night, but oh well. It's my first Pac Man Jones card, man, so give me a break. Um, Adam Jones, on card auto, three color patch. It's like the paint on color, three color. Uh, pretty sweet. I don't know if that's a throwback jersey or what. Maybe I just can't remember. Kind of almost looks like the Oilers uniform of the days. Um, of course, in the Titans uniform. Numbered out of 999. It's my only Pac Man Jones auto. I just wanted one. Probably the only one that I'll ever pick up either. Don't really care for the guy, but. Um, yeah, you know. Uh, next is a Mark Bolger. Uh, nice three color patch. Auto, on card autograph out of Exquisite. It's numbered 4 of 25. It's a very nice looking card. I really like his auto too. And next, picked up this Jerry West. It's like my 10th Jerry West auto now. I'm really happy about that. I really like this car too. I just like the looks of it. All my, um, I, have, I have a lot of cars I haven't shown yet. They're in my safety deposit box and I just haven't. Um, gotten them. It prevents me from trying to trade them or sell them or do anything. So I just keep them there away from me. <clears throat> but uh, it's a nice looking card. I like that a lot. It's not numbered, I don't think. No. It's out of leg legendary signatures. Um, next, picked up a Joe Alexander signing day. SP Rookie Threads autograph. Don't have that card. And a Ramses Barton out of this year's black. My autos are picking up all, a lot of these now. I've, I've hit 80% of the Barton autos that I have have came from me pulling them. So I kind of just have all held on to all those. Uh, next, of course, there's a story behind it, but got this Chris Paul. Really like the card um, and the on-card autograph at Ultimate Signatures. And I was talking to Nate last night in G-Man TD2's room, and I was talking to him about this card. And I actually went to leave the guy feedback, and I don't know what I was doing, but I looked down at the card, and I realized um, something wrong with it. Like when I got it, I noticed like the corners. Okay, there's some white wear there, and I saw that from the blurry picture that he had on the when he was selling it. But you can see this down here, and it's kind of like looks like a little mark. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this see if see if it works. Switch hands here. Um, yeah, actually, I think it does. That, my friends, was a scuff mark with a, like a little indention, and they used a marker to try to fill it in. And you can see how the marker bled into the white right there. You see that? I think you can probably see it pretty good right there, where the black is all over the white. So, um... That's pretty bonk, man. It really is. Why someone wants to try to destroy a card like that by trying to cover in a a, um, a mark is beyond me. But contacted the guy. His his return policy was exchange only, um, and he said he would refund me for it. I don't know. I might just hold on to it. Um, paid 15 bucks for it, which I thought was a good price. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep it anyways for my PC, so it doesn't really matter. But I just thought you guys might want to see that and make sure you know what you're buying. Fuzzy picture for the loss on eBay, and I should know better, but sometimes when something looks too good, uh, it is too good. So anyway, oh, real quick, I picked up some 8x10 autos too. I'll show you real quick. Um, hold this back. Darius Renaud. Quincy Wilson, Ugh. Mike Logan, and he has on there um, Super Bowl champs was with the Steelers, and Vaughn Rivers, who was a really good special teams guy for us um, several years back, not several, a couple years back, so 
pick those up, and that is it, you guys. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon. See ya. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. A regular crowd shuffles in. There's an old man sitting next to me, making love to his tonic and gin.